This surpasses the previous high set two years ago. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's right, Vonnie, and it's probably not a great signal for the markets either because uh, Warren Buffett, one of the most or the most famous value investor out there, struggling to find in, a value in, in the current market. But as you said, that cash pile hitting nearly $160 billion in the latest quarter uh, and really just uh, struggling to, to find those markets for acquisitions. It has been a pretty interesting couple of years for Berkshire Hathaway because they really held back during the pandemic. But then over the past few quarters, we've started to see them return back into the market. So key transactions like uh, buying up shares of Occidental Petroleum, for instance, and then they had a near $12 billion uh, deal for Alagani, which is an insurer. But now in the latest quarter that just came out, it is that, that cash pile and that, that lack of ability of where to put that cash. That's what's really starting to show up. And so uh, some analysts saying that they could start to feel that pressure to put it to work. Where it is now, the cash? Well, a couple of key places. Firstly, a lot of it's parked in short-term or short-dated securities or treasuries. And then they've also continued to uh, put more money into buybacks. So they spent more than $1.1 billion on buybacks in the latest period. And that brings the total for share repurchase this year to around the $7 billion mark. About what else did we learn from those numbers? Yeah, a couple of uh, extra takeaways to note, uh, Heidi. Firstly, there was uh, operating income earnings of just shy of $11 billion. So that was a jump on the prior year. So Berkshire Hathaway really showing the benefits of, of high interest rates because, as I said, a lot of that money parked in short-dated securities. So that uh, did actually help it out. Uh, gains as well that it's insurance business. And then also uh, the, 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 the other key factors as well, that net loss coming through for the quarter. So a bit wider than the previous one, but the company saying uh, shouldn't be paying too much attention to that because it can also just be in terms of accounting accounting factors play into that. What else was to note was really the the investor appetite or interest for this stock because we have continued to see it showing gains and, and our Bloomberg intelligence team saying that this is really a company that invests in all areas of the US economy and because of that it does really have diversity of earnings power and that really does bode well in an uncertain macroeconomic environment. So uh, Heidi, yeah, the, the key takeaways really from Berkshire Hathaway's earnings or so-called results that were due or came out on Saturday.